Hello, and welcome back to Algebra. We are in Chapter 1, Section 2, Cube Roots. Let's start with what we know. This is a square, 3 by 3. 3 times 3, we could write that 3 squared with a little 2, because there are two equal factors, and that gives us 9. So the square root of 9 is 3. Notice 3 is the root. 9 is the square. The square root is one of its two equals fa equal factors. Now, here we have a cube. This has three dimensions, length, width, and height. So in order to find the volume of this, to see how, little, how many little cubes are there, well, there's 9 in this layer, 9 in this, 9 in this. So that'd be 27, or 3 times 3 times 3. So here I have 3 times 3 times 3. That's also 3 cubed. 3 to the third power we call 3 cubed, which is 27. So the cube root, notice, different from a square root, I put a little 3 here. Cube root of 27 is 3. 3 is the root. 27 is the cube of 3. Now you can find these on your calculator. If you have this calculator here, second, all right, we got turn that on, second, and now you have to hit 3 first, 3, and then Sorry, clear. Three first, then second, and this little roof symbol right above that is the cube root, or is the multiple root symbol. And then cube root of 27, for example. Enter, you get three. On this calculator right here, same place. Clear that. So we do three second cube root. Shows me the cube root like this, 27, enter, I get 3. All right. Let's look at a couple of examples. Example 1. Find the cube root of 8. Well, you could put type this in the calculator and find it, but 8 is pretty simple. What number times itself times itself again gives me 8? Well, I know 4 times four times 2 is 8, but there are no repeating factors. So I break that down even further, and we have 2 times 2 times 2. So there we have three equal factors. Since we're looking for a cube root, one of its three equal factors be 2, so the cube root of 8 is 2. Now if you have a fraction, you want to do the cube root of 27 over 125. You can do the cube root of each part of this, because this is the same as the cube root of 27 over the cube root of 125. So the cube root of 27, we've already found, is 3. The cube root of 125 is 5. You can type that into your calculator, or you can practice to know a few of these cubes, at least. So we get 3 fifths. All right. Next, let's look at example 2. We have 2 times the cube root of negative 2 16 minus 3. 2, and then we evaluate the cube root of 2, 16. Now when you're typing this in, if you don't know it, make sure 3 second cube root, you type negative 2, 16. Okay, because the cube root of 2, 16 is 6. Cube root of negative 2, 16 is negative 6. Now this needs to go in parentheses because there's no operation out here. So parentheses negative 6 minus 3. It means I'm multiplying these, get negative 12, minus 3 is negative 15. All 
All right. Let's look at another example. Example three. All right, this is fractions. We all love fractions, so let's have some fun. X over three. And we know that we are given that X is equal to 192. Okay, we're going to replace x with 192. Remember to put it in parentheses. 192 over 4 plus the cube root of 192 over 3. Okay, there might not be a cube root to this. So 3, there are no 3 equal factors for 3. Okay, so no perfect cubes. A 3 isn't a perfect cube, but I can simplify this. 192 divided by 4 is 48. And then 192 divided by 3 is, 60, is 64. And I know the cube root of 64 is 4. If you don't know that, type it into your handy-dandy calculator. So we have 48 plus 4 is equal to 52. So fractions are not that hard, even though it looks tricky to begin with. All right, we got one more example for you here. Example 4, 5 times the cube root of 3x minus 9 minus 7x, where x is equal to negative 6. Now, the root, square root, is like a grouping symbol, which means you have, or the cube root, you have to do what's underneath the radical sign first, before you evaluate anything else. All right, plug this in. We get 3 times negative 6 minus 9 minus 7 times negative 6. Evaluate what's under here. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Minus 9 is negative 27 times 5, negative 7 times negative 6 is positive 42. Cube root of negative 27 is negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 plus 42 is 27. And there you have it, cube roots.